Hi guys, thanks for joining me this evening. Well appreciated. It's just a quick one to be honest with you. Um sure I've been on live um lately. Um as I say I've had a few things to sort out. Oh, sorry the microphone's broken. Um yeah, I've had a few things to sort out and as I say, you all know I'll be going back to Spain um next Friday. Um, so I'm quite looking forward to that and a wee part of it is to show where the gloves up drugs down originally originally from um, <clears throat> it started way back in 2018 um, I was sitting beside someone um, down on the beach in Playa Blanca um, a well known boxer and as I say big in the, the, the sport itself. I, I, I don't really talk much um, about things. Um, I like to keep it quiet, I keep it privacy. You know what I mean? I don't like to kind of yeah, put it out there. Because um, you don't know who's watching the podcast. You know what I mean? Let's say the Gypsy King. You know what I mean? Um, so it's a big thing. You know, and um, as I say, a lot of content coming up this time. I'm back training. Um, as I say, I'm back fighting fit and well, uh, doing a bit of pad work. But as I say, Spain is originally where it started, and as I say, I'm I've been back over since. Um, unfortunately, with the with the COVID, I wasn't allowed to go over. And um, I suffered heart failure last year. Um, so that kind of put the blockers on it. And over the course of the guys here and me, um, and it was fantastic. Met a few guys, spoke to them. As I say, I've actually got people over in Spain, in Lanzarote. You know what I mean? Um, businesses and stuff like that. Um, but as I say, things will be coming up. Um, on the podcast, but I just you don't know who to trust in the YouTube world, okay? Um, and as I say, I've got a lot of friends over in Spain and Lanzarote, you know what I mean? And the guys that I was sitting talking to down at the pool, well, the beach kind of pool thing, and um, I was sitting talking to them about it. I was actually watching Seth Sandu's uh, podcast with James English at the time. Um, and it was a lassie called Kayleigh Birkinshaw. Big out to Kayleigh, she's a subscriber. Um, she's from Nottinghamshire. Um, and the, me and her husband were sitting watching it. And he's a big player down that end of the country in the boxing game. Um, but I'll leave him gonna do to you. But anyway, cut long story short, when I go back to the UK, um I contact you shit um through social media and we spoke um through t taxis and stuff like that and we done the podcast um and shit never went into it too much. Um I keep her told a lot, you know what I mean? To be honest yeah. But I still would remain friends with Shet to this day and I speak to him on a weekly basis. Um, and I told him about this experience. That I was speaking to about a guy who actually knew about Shet and stuff like that. And there were a few other guys in Spain that knew about Shet. And so, as I say, I told him what I was going to do. You know what I mean? I was an ex addict, I was an ex criminal. You know what I mean? And stuff like that. Um, and I'd like to try and help others in the sport um, and change their life away from crime, drug prison and, and choose an actual talent in life and um, you know I go for it so I come up back to the UK and I've done it and within months I got slandered I was getting hit everywhere but I say you know what I mean I took it I'm still here three years later you know what I mean? And the channel's start, starting to go now. 
but it takes time, channel start to take, but people need to build this trust up in you, you know what I mean? You can't expect just to come appear on YouTube and people start, oh aye, I'll bounce on, I'll bounce on. I was fortunate enough to get Kevin Lane um, on the pod and that was fantastic. Can't look, Kev, brilliant. Amazing, what a gentleman, what a laugh. Shit, amazing, what a guy, what a gentleman. And, um, and as I say, I told Shit about this and stuff like that. And he's like, go do what you want, bro. Is your day, you know what I mean? As Shet says, you know what I mean? If you're going to be out there, you're going to be with somebody that's <clears throat> not willing to go out there and follow their dream and chase their dream. And if you're going to sit there like a bum and sit with nothing, then that's the way you're going to go. Or if it's the other way about, partner, partner, get rid of that partner, you know what I mean? Doesn't harm, you know what I mean? Cannot work if you want to chase dreams and make goals in life. And so that's what I've done. Um, and I kept it very, very quiet. And, but as I say, folks, um, Kevin Lane, brilliant. You know what I mean? I was going to follow uh, the protest with Stuart Dempsey, Johnny, Polly Steele, and James Mitchell. For Luke Mitchell outside um, Scottish Parliament. And a text came through. Can you give a big shout out to Kevin? Um, he's been recalled to prison and stuff like that. So I did. And I reached out. Me and the boys went and done with a big tannoy, shouted at the South Scottish Parliament how this corruption and it should be stopped. You know what I mean? So when Kevin got released, I contacted Kevin and as I say, straight away, of course I will. It was great. I done as you go and check the channel, go and check it out and share it and please like and subscribe to the channel. Um what a fantastic laugh me and Kevin had. But through that, through that podcast with Kevin, and I hope Kevin will watch it and see this, um, I didn't actually realise, I was going through heart failure at the time, and um, I'd done the podcast with Kevin, eh, eh, because when it happened, it was a, a, a period of time, and if you look at my videos, you know what I mean, I'm swollen and I'm all kind of thing that, eh, and how the doctors not, didn't quite on to how I looked was beyond me, um, but as I say, yeah, so I just like to apologise to Kevin for that, which I have personally because I keep it in touch with Kevin on a daily basis or every other day, maybe Yami B and stuff like that. And it's mad because the, the, the London and the English kind of podcasters have took to me, you know what I mean? The only ones that took to me is kind of Sean. I don't know what reason that is there, but I'm not interested. That's the way he's going to go and let him. But as I say, um, Scotland, it's hard. It's hard. Um, criminals don't want to talk or they've just feared to come on and be alive and speak about the things, but don't. Don't because you'll not be judged. You know what I mean? We need more Scottish people to come on and tell their stories because in the Scottish prison system, there's a, a lot of horrendous crimes that have happened within the Scottish prison and there's a lot of hardened criminals in Scotland. Doesn't they need to be for Glasgow, Edinburgh, Aberdeen, you name it, Falkirk, Stirling, they've all got them, you know what I mean? Every town, every city, every village has them. But anyway people, I will be live um, before I go to Spain on Friday, I'll probably do a live tomorrow, tomorrow night. Um, and I hope you can join me and tune in and I'm going to get hopefully get Uncle Yami on the channel um, in the next couple of days and just to talk about things he's doing his thing with um, his documentary and his channels and that big up to Yami B and the rest of the people so as I say folks please like, share, subscribe to the channel we're all going to get bigger and don't think I'm in this for the short haul I've been here three years and I'm still going okay so stay safe, stay blessed gloves up and watch Damn back training. Okay? Stay safe and stay blessed. Bye bye. Oh, sorry. P.S. Big shout out to KD Car Wash and D and H All Trades. Contact them on all social medias and you'll get them. Okay? Sorry, it was a quick one there. 
Um, but anyway, stay safe and stay blessed.